Well, ladies and gentlemen, next is the keynote speech. Our distinguished speaker today is Mr. Alan Wiseman. He has written several books and won numerous international awards. His works include Gaviotas, A Village to Reinvent the World, Countdown, Our Last Best Hope for a Future on Earth, and the critically acclaimed book, The World Without Us, which was awarded the best American science writing in 2007, and it was translated into over 30 languages. It is my pleasure to now invite Mr. Wiseman to the stage. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Wiseman with a warm round of applause. And that, of course, was the demilitarized zone, the buffer four kilometers wide that for more than half a century has kept two of the world's largest armies from murdering each other. When I first saw it, it was bristling with weapons that neither would hesitate to fire if provoked. Compounding this tragedy was the sad irony that these mortal enemies shared the same history, language, and blood. But they also shared a miracle. After a half century, the abandoned no man's land between them had reverted from rice paddies and villages to wilderness. Inadvertently, it had become one of the most important nature refuges in Asia, home to wildlife like Asiatic black bears, Eurasian lynx, musk deer, Chinese water deer, yellow-throated marten, the endangered goral, the nearly vanished Amur leopard, and especially the red-crowned crane. The second rarest on earth after the American whooping crane, it is repeatedly depicted in paintings and silks throughout the Far East as a symbol of luck and long life. Many, if not most, of these fabulous birds winter in the DMZ. If it were gone, they might also be. With staff and scientists from the Korean Federation of Environment Movement, I watched 11 red-crowned cranes with cherry caps, black extremities, but otherwise as pure and white as innocence itself, silently glide between the seething North and South Korean forces. Placidly, they settled in the bulrushes to feed, light enough not to touch off landmines. Since so few still remain on Earth, the fact that some were juveniles heartened us. Thrilled as we were to see this, it was impossible to forget, and even harder to reconcile, that this auspicious setting owed its existence to an unresolved war. If peace were ever restored, developers of suburbs to the south and industrial parks to the north had plans for this place that didn't include wildlife. The reunification of Korea could mean a habitat loss that might shrink the red crown crane's gene pool critically enough to doom the entire species. Unless, that is, Korean leaders realize that amid the sorrow of this divided land lies a great opportunity. A growing alliance of world scientists have proposed that the DMZ be declared an international peace park. It would be a gift of life to the earth, protecting this haven to scores of precious, precious creatures. By preserving the common ground between them, the two Koreas would not only save many, many irreplaceable species, but also earn immense goodwill. <laughs> 